Everything about it is difficult and awkward. As slow as I can, heels down. Oh my god. Rider number six. Sick. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So you probably recognize this guy, Matt Bolton. We've done a bunch of videos that you can find in the channel, but the latest one to date on his trail Jurassic 5 was probably one of my favorite one. Also the one where I challenge myself the most because there was a bunch of crazy features including a step down of an old growth tree and step down are not really my thing because it's pretty hard to judge the speed, you can't really see the landing but this one particularly was pretty sniper and I did really struggle with it so go check out the video and today we're gonna ride some of my favorite slaps trail in the Alice Lake area here in Squamish it's awesome, I'll let you judge by yourself. Enjoy the video. Okay, let's go. On to Rodeo Rose. So it's a super fun trail. It's definitely got some spice time. We're gonna see a bit lower. Yeah, Matt. Woo. Quite some exposure here. <laughs> That's janky. Sorry. No worries. Do you know where we're going here? Uh, no. Okay, I'll let you pick a line. Oh, it's steep. Yes, buddy. Oh, around here. <laughs> oh. That was good. That was it's tricky here. That's pretty good. I think it's on the right, yeah. Oh, nice one, buddy. Yeah, I did. Oh, it's tight here. I'm gonna follow you. I know there's a bunch of lines. You know where you're going now? <laughs> I guess we're hitting the drop. Yeah, I guess we've got no choice here. Dude, that's gnarly. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's so many lines here. After we're gonna go and check them out. Yeah, there's splits everywhere and I don't really ride this trail much. I had no idea where I was going. No, it's I was... it. I think the regular trail kind of flows to the left and those are just optional lines. Huh. The builder made like such an amazing job using the terrain. Yeah, it's crazy. It's pretty cool. You can actually start from the top here. Go right there. It's so narrow there, it's like a shoe width wide. I know, it's really narrow, lots of exposure left and right. The drop itself is not that bad, but the challenge is getting to the drop. Yeah, like once you're on that rock, you can't stop, you're fully committed. Matt first attempt. Woo! Yeah, dude. Yeah. Sick. Okay, first attempt today. It is so scary because it's so narrow. Once you are like onto that spine, if you feel like you have balance, you're better at letting the brakes go so you can regain stability. It's uh, yeah, it's an interesting feature. It's quite chunky here too, you can't tell, but lots of roots and rocks and high exposure on the left side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna ride that upper line. I'm gonna start on the spine. First time in two years I'm riding that feature. And you're gonna see why. It's extremely gnarly. Everything about it is difficult and awkward. It's a very slow on the brakes. Watch out for the left pedal. 
So now my tires are a little bit wet. As slow as I can, heels down. Whoa! I didn't fall off the cliff this time. Yeah, dude, that was sick. So you know, like mistakes I've done. I was really controlled and I really focused on that crack at the top. And I've done actually really well. Then I picked up speed and instead of focusing on my exit, which would have been rider's right, I looked where I don't want to go, which is right there. So that's exactly what I've done. And, you know, fortunately I was able to control the speed and stop before, but you always want to look where you want to go, never where you don't want to go. Dude, sick. Thank you. Okay, attempt number two. So, hopefully I learned from my mistakes. Very slow here, looking ahead. Left pedal up. I'm gonna like reset. Look ahead where I want to go. Oh, it's slippery. Nice. So that was better. What I did different is that I also pushed on my bike on the compression. So I was heavier and I was able to press harder on the brake lever, get more traction. And then I looked ahead and I looked for an exit. I saw by that rock had a little bit of support. So I was able to go a bit fast, push onto the corner and go back onto my exit, which is right there. Yep, that's gnarly. So you've never done it? Never done it, only looked at it once and uh, to give it a go, first time today. Yeah, rock is dry, but the dirt is pretty wet. So if you start from just at the top of the rock face right there, uh, it's pretty a smarter move because that way your tires will still be dry. Yeah, hopefully. And that's, that's kind of the challenge I had is that I was riding on the rock, then on the dirt, then back on the rock, so my tires had the time to get wet. Yeah, hopefully I can do it, just like you. And make sure you look at right there and not right there. Don't go left. Don't go left. <laughs> Let's do it. Matt, first attempt. Different line than me. Yeah, buddy. Yeah! That was awesome, dude. You had a better line than I had. You actually went far right, so you could open your corner, and yeah. I don't think you had to take the compression as sideways as I did. Yeah, it was good. It's kind of scary because you start sliding on the off-camber rock, and you pick up a ton of speed, so keeping that under control is really difficult. Wow, my heart's pounding. <laughs> as some of you might have noticed, Matt and I have the same helmet, so Specialized sent me some spare helmets to give away to some of my friends, so I gave him a tactic that the helmet I've been using for the last few months, really like it. It's really comfortable. It's got the MIPS. It's ranked as the safest half chef helmet by a third party company. You can find it on Competitive Cyclist using the link in the description. Same as the glasses, the Julbo Fury. So check out the link in the description. Every purchase you make support my channel. So thank you so much for that. Okay, let's finish that trail. So this is pretty much the main line, I believe. Oh yeah! Yeah! Matt is really fast and comfortable on those tech trails. Whew. Yeah buddy! Oh. Yo. Woo. Oh man. Too that bad. Is spicy. Too bad we didn't carry a, a saw, but it's a big tree. It's a big one. Need a chance for this one. It's real chunky here, like a little bit of uh, water erosion, a lot of loose rocks. Well, it's such a steep trail, right? So yeah. water just goes in. You get going pretty quick, and it's. Uh... You are flying on the first part. You're going really <laughs> fast. Going a little too fast, I wasn't expecting to pick up that much speed, but it's really fun. Made it. Okay, on to the next trail. On to Penthouse. Let's send it. For you. Watch out for this rock. So I know there's a big drop. You don't have to do it. And I haven't done it in a couple of years. I haven't looked at it either, but Matt is uh, confident doing it, so I'm gonna follow him.
Oui, oui, quand je dois le dire. Oui, mais bon, c'est sport, je peux l'énerver. Sac chelui, ok. Yeah. That was sick. Dude, that was a chunky run out. I haven't done that in like a couple of years. I remember filming on it when I did the drone video. Oh, look at this guy. Look How are you? Good. Slab builder. Yeah, an awesome trail builder right here. So thank you so much Sounded, for that. Uh, fast. It was fast. <laughs> yeah. Just like multi rock. Kind of bounce on the landing and the Easy. rock's pretty grippy though. Yeah. Okay, on to a little alternate line from Penthouse. Yeah, so fun. So a lot of exposure on our left, as you can see. And the roots are slippery. Yeah, buddy. Oh, so tech. Yeah, I love that. Oh, man. That was awesome. That was pretty loose. Okay. I saw something like passing me on the way down, and I was like, maybe I didn't close the pocket of my camel bike and my keys are falling off. But that must have been a rock. Yeah, I hit something. Like, good thing I got this bash guide here. Smoked it off a rock yeah. and saved my chain. But you see, you ride flat pedals. And I had the same lines than you, but because I had clip pedals, for me it's easier to like pull on the bike and avoid that. So I was definitely cheating. Yeah, it was like really washed out in that middle pit, pit and I got stuck in some bad lines, but it's still yeah. super fun. It's an awesome trail. So that first like little drop we did at the start. It worked out perfect. That was really cool, yeah. yeah way better. It's like really smooth and I mean you get going after that, but I was sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, Let's on keep, to the next trail. Keep going. Okay, on to our next trail. Wow. That's <laughs> pretty tricky here. Yeah, buddy. So exposed right here. Yeah. Tire gripping like a dream. Yo. Yeah. Oh man. That was scary. My front wheel slid there in that little bit of wet. And, and it's so exposed. Like, look at this. Yeah, you're right in the edge of that cliff. Yeah. Whew. This is a sick drop. Let's check it out. Yeah, Caroline. That's the entrance. Nice little sign to remind you that there's a gap. Should always uh, check trails like this. Whether you know them or not, you know, after the winter, could have a tree on the way. So it's always worth it to have a look. Dude, this is a sick feature. Yeah, it's such a nice looking drop in between the two trees. It's pretty narrow, but at least you know where you have to go. The moss is removed just on the, essentially like two width of a tire. So you can't really go too far left or too far right. You just have to focus on your pop and on your speed. Mm -hmm. You have like a nice gentle slope going down too. So it should be pretty easy to see the landing and get the right speed. Yeah, I mean, you can really see the landing from here. So you've got like three bike lengths to really adapt your body position, adapt your speed. Oh, it's awesome. Let's send it. You go first? Yeah. Yeah, Matt. So smooth. How was that? Oh, dude, that was sick. Uh, you have great sight lines coming in, so it's really easy to gauge the speed, and you can see the landing pretty much the entire time. Uh, so you know when to let it go, and then you have a great run out too. It's nice and wide and easy to control speed. So, yeah, super fun. Let's do it again. Yeah, my turn now. Okay, onto the drop. I can control my speed. See the landing. Drop. What do you guys think? Awesome. I think that's really cool. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. Ah, that's you, a super fun one. You're moving real quick. But you know what? It's so well built. You can really spot your landing from the top. It can be extremely precise. You just let go. And once you land, you can really 
make yourself super heavy, drop your heels, keep your center of gravity fairly low and really apply pressure on the brakes. It's pretty good grip so you can really slow down, control your speed before the corner at the bottom. And it's awesome, like it's such a good feeling. They made a really good job with the landing as well, the way it's attached to the to those two poles. It's uh yeah, it's really well done. Even though it's made of wood, it's really grippy because there is that metal grill on it. So even if it's wet, you can give it. So now I should follow you on it. So we'll see the train. Let's do this. Send it. Follow cam down that first drop. I'm gonna try to ride close. That's so sick. Ooh. Okay, now the part that I'm really not a champ. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. God damn it. That's a tough uphill. You need to be like really good at trials to make that. I know, but you know what? Because it's a left hand corner. If it was a right hand corner, I could do it. Let's try it again. Yeah. Okay, Matt on his way to the climb. Wow. It's tough because it's really steep. Huh? I suck at trials. Like, it's tough. Okay, I'm going to attempt the climb. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't corner, you know, with speed and momentum. I just reset and then moved again, which I think is easier. I think you have to, like that turns so tight. I don't know if I could actually ride it without without stopping. I'm gonna give a quick try. Yeah. Sick dude. Made it. That was it. Yeah, I went as far as far right as I could. So I was able to keep pedaling without fear of touching my feet on the ground. Because that's what happened when you take like a hairpin corner like this. Because you angle the bike and there is rocks on the ground. It is pretty likely that your inside feet can clip on. So that's why I try to open up as much as I could. Sick. Yeah, good line. Keep going. You made it. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice okay, one. Good enough for me. Oh, it's difficult. Let's do the easy part, which is the downhill. Yeah, I'll stick to the downhill. Okay, bottom of Caroline. That's a fun section. Little uh, gap on top. Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect you to do a nose manual and I gapped into the slab. And I was gonna... I was gonna murder you. Dude, look at this. It's crazy, there's stuff everywhere. There's a log, there's a hole. You're like super lucky you didn't hit any of that. I know, so coming down the rock face, when I was by myself, I jumped into it. So I knew I was going to go really fast. And I was expecting you to go really fast. I didn't expect you to do a nose manual for the style. So when I jumped, I no longer was able to control my speed to the speed you were going. So either I was smacking into you or I was going riders left so you know I'm a good friend I decided to uh, not make you crash so I ended up riders left in the most obviously I had no traction nothing and look at that stump here we've got some dead uh, dead trees some branches fortunately no rocks like no beagles it's way to your push-ups yeah I uh, got lucky on this one definitely lock my arms and uh, hold on tight <laughs> sick let's do it again Ah, again! Yeah. 
it's like the second time in two weeks and I do that. Okay, last part of the trail. Yeah, don't go in the bushes this time. Yeah, no jumping on the rock face, gonna play it safe. Yeah, because I normally get from here, down there. Yeah, buddy. It's such a cool corner. Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah, that was awesome. Sick, dude. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That helps a ton. I'd like to give a big shout out to all the trail builders out there. And if you want to support the channel, check out competitivecyclist.com. There is a link in the description. You could purchase a specialized tactic helmet like Matt and I have been using. Those Julbo Fury glasses or even the one-up handlebar carbon bars. They got 35 mm rise and every purchase you make really support the channel. So thank you so much for that. See you next week.